Now, news on the vaccine front that parents are watching very closely. Looks like the FDA could give the go-ahead for Pfizer's vaccine to kids as young as 12 by next week. Right now, the, it's approved till 16 and older. And Brad, looking ahead to next school year, those are middle and high school ages right there. Yeah, they are, Jason. We reached out to a bunch of school districts across the region today, most genuinely excited about the prospects of potentially vaccinating their younger students. But as far as mandatory vaccinations tonight, they're saying not so fast. All right, Miles. Paula Zimmerman is thrilled to be back at the field cheering on her son. These nine and 10 year olds likely won't be the next to qualify for the COVID vaccine. But Paula says if the FDA gives the go ahead for 12 to 15 year olds, her other son will get it. I would be very comfortable having him get the vaccine and I'll sign him up as soon as I can. She believes once approved for middle and high schoolers, districts should require it just like other vaccines. But will they? Two local districts tell us they'll lead the charge in getting students vaccinated. Garnett Valley and Delco has already facilitated shots for hundreds of students 16 and older. And when the district surveyed parents on Friday about the younger kids. We have about 700 responses and 93% of the parents want their children vaccinated. But as far as requiring it, we don't have the legal authority to mandate that our teachers or our students get vaccinated. Meanwhile, it will not be mandatory either at Colonial School District in Newcastle, Delaware, where most students are still learning from home. But the district says the vaccine is the key to getting more students back. We're actually surveying parents this week to get a sense of their interest. And then we hope to be able to have something to publicize hopefully as early as next week about how we're going to make uh, access to uh, the vaccine for students 16 years and older. But not everyone is on board like this man who asked we not identify him. I just think it's uh, unnecessary and you know we don't know the long term side effects if any. As you hear, for some, vaccines remain a polarizing issue, which is why when we reached out to one South Jersey school district for comment today, we were told we have a lot of, to work through. It'll be very controversial one way for another. When you're talking about vaccines, it seems it usually is. Jason. No doubt. All right, Brad Satin, thank you very much.